it's 7.41 at night and um, I'm just going to make a really brief upload with regard to the obligations that haven't been fulfilled. As I've mentioned, I've had a very difficult time wondering where my missing child is. And as I've mentioned, I've worked very hard for this country and this country has benefited from my work. So um, as I've mentioned also, there's been a lot of medical negligence. And there have been individuals um, endangering and threatening the peace and that have been disturbing the peace. Now, I'm, I'm aware that my work has also affected uh, parts of the United Kingdom and beyond there as well. But um, there's a little problem in this community, um, which has been a problem for quite a while by individuals in the field of education that have um, been disrespecting their positions and that have been damaging my reputation with defamation. Now, at the moment, there are individuals within my proximity that really should not be within my proximity. Um, the authorities have a very huge obligation to my ancestors, my hereditary, uh, my culture and the inputs that I have contributed to Irish society. So as I've mentioned, there are people that are having difficulty coming to terms with the reality of these circumstances and they like to play the denial. Um, unfortunately, denial is quite dangerous when there have been um, very huge progressive benefits and gains uh, from a married mother property owner, which I might remind individuals, the property of Inard Fart and Kilflin is subject to criminal offences. And those offences are, as we always know, with trespassers, punishable. So I have not consented to people or developers discussing my farms, my properties without, you know, there it's just, you just, you, you don't get cheeky with other people's uh, uh, matrimony and properties and children. Um, that's if you have, you know, respect for peace and the future. So um, there are politicians that are aware of the circumstances and I don't know if they're, you know, respecting the situation. It's really sad sign of the times. Um, I've worked for three state departments. As I've said, I'm experiencing the All Impoverishment Initiative. There's the begrudgery going on in the country still. It's bad, bad, bad sad sign of the times. So um, there are authorities that have children as well, I'm sure, and they know um, that my child is the only heir um, of substantial property that is subject to these offences and fraud. And um, I'm concerned for those authorities that are not respecting the role of my child and I and my contributions to this country. Um, so I'm really concerned for those uh, authorities that are not respecting their obligations to my position, function, my titles, my royal titles, etc. Um, so as I've mentioned, I, I think it's unsafe for uh, guards not to be doing their jobs properly and I think it's unsafe for any disturbers to be in my proximity, um, threatening the peace or disrespecting uh, my healing process. Doctors have not been doing their jobs either and politicians in denial that have been uh, reaping the benefits of my work, I'm concerned for you. It's a sad sign of the times.